And we are back with more information regarding what Shaul was preaching and teaching. You also understand when he was involved with the preaching to the Goys, the people outside of the camp, he primarily meant them to be relinked. And this was salvation. Salvation has come. And he began to preach the word. And this is what it was. Repent, because there is a vengeance to come. And then, of course, he had the understanding of the uh, kingdom to come. And he did also explain many times, but he did not write those areas related with the kingdom to come as government. Because based upon what Yahshua did, when he was given the chance of being king, what did he do? He fled up to the mountain to pray. So Shaul had this understanding also and the anointing for him not to be involved with them. However, those people that they were coming from the outside, from authorities, from other countries, they did understand that he had an anointing and he had the answers. However, he did not get himself involved with them. He pointed them to the camp. And this is what it means. Let every soul be subjected to the authorities of the kingdom to come government. And then comes in the form of the camp. How was it Solomon directing the world? He was directing the world from his place, from the temple. Along with his own place where he used to live. So the nations, they were being directed from Jerusalem. It would be the shadow picture. It did not change. The only point that was completed was the dam of animals. And then they would go out in groups forming holy lands. So then the nations would come to them. And then he goes on. Let every soul be subjected to the authorities of the kingdom to come government. Because he knew that those people, the soul means the description of a lost person. He doesn't state and the Goys or the faithful or the believers in Yahshua the Messiah. No, he simply stated a general name and this name in fact that he used was in the form of a description of the soul. So then let every soul because there was also women over there asking questions regarding governments. And he had to point them to the camp. Go to the camp. You get instructed over there at the camp. Because his main task was being set apart to preach to the goys. Those people that are lost. Preaching the relink. Because there are dual factors. The instructions, the main point was send him to the Gentiles so they can be relinked and saved. Salvation has come. That's why in the descriptions of Shaul we don't have much of the kingdom to come area when it comes to governments. He wasn't to be involved himself as Yahshua wasn't. And the anointing that was upon Yahshua was the anointing that was upon Shaul. The directives, they were the same. However, he points in Romans, let every soul be subjected to the authorities of the government of the kingdom to come. For there is no authority that is not from Elohim related with the government of the kingdom to come. And those people outside, they should not be contrary of what the people of the kingdom to come government and what they are preaching. And the reason why they should not be contrary, it's because those countries coming and staying at the gate waiting for instructions, those people are judged. As any other person away from the Messiah, from Yahshua, the person is judged. Judgment to come does not exist. It was made it up. 
much later when Shaul was gone and then came Constantine he began to be envious how come these countries are so prospering and they are prosperous and the, whatsoever they do they are being prosperous what is going on and then around the area where they were at they began to understand because these people are from Elohim they are preaching the kingdom to come this is what it would be in the future when the New Jerusalem comes and they were preaching ahead of time so they themselves would be saved and be part of but then Constantine came along and he began to change he wanted this world to be the kingdom does it not have any kind of a similitude with the king of Babylon when he made the whole statue of gold but then if you don't read the scripture then you are stupid yourself much more if you don't understand the uh, Torah and if you think the Torah is abolished then for sure you are lost Shaul said whatsoever is done let it be done in order and this is what he's talking about let every soul be subjected to the authorities of the kingdom to come government for there is no authority outside from the camp that is above the establishments of Elohim and then don't listen to those outside what they came around was oh but are you not preaching grace that person has grace and shouldn't you be doing this and this and this and Shaul no maintain the loyalty of where you came from they came from the line of the set apart people and they should remain as such remains as such so then later he was then explaining to the people of the camp if you do listen to those people outside that they are scoundreling themselves with the grace they don't understand the principles because they are from a pagan nation they don't have the senses exercised they don't speak the holy language they were never functioned why would you be listening to these people because those that are not from the line of the Messiah they are judged that's why Shaul was so strong and so powerful in, in quote when he was preaching the kingdom to come and he would point out those people to the camp if they had questions and this primary factor was teach them to relink so then when the people would die they would not go to the first death but then in this world that we are living in people are so used to get this contaminated line and they are guided by witches quite interesting isn't it they get this junk from the spirit through the witches and where do you think came from? came from Shavuot and those were the priests that should maintain them should maintain the gods outside via the maintenance of the nearing line and when Shaul then was gone and the main people of the word they were gone and then he went in disrepair there was no more set of priests maintaining the worship and maintaining this spiritual line clear and clean there is an idea in the uh, 11th verse and it states and these also you do know that it is the time and the hour that we should therefore awaken from the previous blind condition for the life that has come has come nearer to us than before when we believed this is the nearing line that Shaul is speaking of that was set in Shavuot and at the moment is extremely contaminated because it was stolen it must be taken back and the priests they must maintain their prayers and then in Revelation when there is a very un 
tiny understanding of the vision that comes from heaven of the prayers of the set apart people does it not state also that the angels they come and they gather the prayers of the set apart so when they are in their holy of holies around the world on the camps praying the angels they come up with the prayers of the saints he said linking this is what it means. But then Shaul is very strong. He said very plainly, has come nearer to us at the moment than previously. Does it come to mind the understanding of he that comes near him must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of those who diligently search for him? The nearing line is speaking of the spiritual line of the world that is contaminated and most of it is used by witches. That's why Bible has many verbiage using witches and then the spiritual world outside is ruled by witches. Because the spiritual line was stolen and it has to return to the hands of the priests. And those are from the priests of Israel. Because they had to use this spiritual line in order to maintain those gods outside being made its a dick. Because they would be shepherding those people outside as they were shepherded out of the land of Egypt. And then the world in the former state didn't work, and then an existing state didn't work. What it did work were the set up camps and then people going in and over there at the gate and they were listening to the instructions and then it was working. But then people don't understand the uh, concept of Constantine. There was a lie placed in the world. Oh, you have grace. You know, if you do uh, what you want but yet you are a nice person then uh, you have to do certain actions and then you go to heaven and then from there you're going to be judging the other nations oh sure where is it at in the scripture show it first the judgment to come was from the previews wasn't it uh, uh, from the previous. Where is it at? Where do you think uh, the uh, Shaliak was speaking of? Is that future? What do you think is this judgment to come? Oh, people are going to be rescued from the earth when the Savior returns. Sure. And doing what in heaven if humans they were made for the earth? They are not made for the heavens. They were made for the earth. How do you explain it? Ah, it's because the spirit. Uh, what about the spirit? Are you a spirit? Or are you a soul, a living soul? Ah, because the bodies are coming from the dead. Ah, the bodies are coming from the dead. Where is the example? Ah, those people that came out when the Savior came out. Ah, those they were in a glorified state when they come out of those tombs. It was an example of the soul that's going to be raised from the dead later. It gives you an understanding what it's going to be when the new earth is established. And then your souls are going to come out of the resting place and then enter a glorified body. This is what it meant. You are not going to be raised from the dead, from the dust that the body was contaminated. Don't be ridiculous. Where do you get your information from? Oh, the Torah was abolished. So where do you get this information from? And then retract it back. Where does information came from? Came from Constantine. The Torah was never abolished. Read the scriptures. 
if our nation was so sure that what they were doing was positive, how come the nation is nearly ruined? Was it the kingdom to come and his people to be defeated? And then he promised those from the camp they are going to be complete. But then Torah was abolished so that meant God did not maintain his word. Because a lot of people that trust in the Savior and most of the time doesn't work. And people they sin, 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 and and they don't understand. It. Then they ask, "Are you a spirit, or are you a soul? What about your body? Is that uh, going to return from the dead?" You ask them. God is not of confusion. But then, if we inquire of them, they don't know the answer. Because demons in them, simply, they block their understanding. Any person away from the truth of the scripture has a demon. When Yasha was preaching and then people would come around with their own doctrines, he did not say hypocrite. He said, you devil, this is what he said. He was speaking to demons in the, in the people, in the persons. Oh, what a hypocrite. What is a hypocrite? Hypocrite was a mask used in, in pagan cultures when they had those theatrical plays. Those were years later. Didn't even exist during the time of the Savior. Hypocrite? What, does it, what kind of a hint does it give you? Centuries later, then, the Codex was put together. Are you going to trust a pagan Codex? And the Savior is saying, hypocrite? No, he said, devil. You demon. But then, you know, grace. And then people live in sin knowingly. And there is no other sacrifice that can be done when a person knowingly sins. That's the problem. It's not the fact of repenting of the sin. A person repents and then moves on. Understandable. When a person persists in it knowingly, without the proper understanding of the scripture, then it's a problem. And Shaul did mention very clearly, if you do it knowingly, there is no more sacrifice that can be made. Because then you trample over the son of Elohim. This is sound doctrine. This is not a new teaching. This is a simple refreshment via sharing. This is what Shaul taught. This is what Yahshua taught. Scrutinize the scriptures. Did Yahshua say hypocrite? Hypocrite was a mask. Used centuries later. In context to what, what Yahshua was saying. Hypocrite? What does it mean? It's not even a part of the scriptures. He said devil, you devil. Or demon. And he had to bust them over there and they would turn around. Those people could not stand in his presence. And this is what Shaul is pointing out. Don't listen to them. Maintain yourselves in the camp because the rest, they are judged. Away from the Torah, away from the scriptures, they have demons. And demons are judged. That's why they are judged. If they don't repent... And wash themselves with the dam of Yahshua in their mikvah, then they are judged. Judged. Why are they judged? Because they have demons in them, and demons are judged. They are bound in the future, judged.
And then the other topic is going to heaven. You were made for the earth. You're not made for the heaven. People, they are made for the earth. And then the Creator makes the human beings meant to work on the land, to do harvest, to be with the other people and to be in this earth. Then the stupid people, they think they're going to be in heaven. Doing what? Planting virtual gardens in space. No, they were made for the earth. And then they're going to be in heaven and they're going to rule with the Savior. And Yahweh himself said, the vengeance is his alone. Vengeance is his. He does not want any other people up there with him. Vengeance is his. He will to repay. And then the concocted theory of going to heaven and ruling with a rod of iron. Boy, you are truly stupid. There is no other way of saying it. We are not going to reign with him in heaven and judging the nations. If the Creator himself said judgment is his. Where is the confusion coming from? From Constantine. Because he changed the holy laws. And then he manipulated what Shaul taught. And that's why there is so much confusion going on. Now well, because you sin, 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 and then if you repent, then you are fine. No. Knowingly, if you sin, there is no more sacrifice that can be made. And they go around trying to make this world to work. Oh, because uh, the Savior is coming back, is going to take out of this uh, world. And, you know, He came to save the world. So the world is saved. So He's going to take us out of the world because it's very perverse. Your faith in Him is going to take you out of the world. He's not going to rescue without faith. If you sin, knowingly you are in sin, where is your faith? And people, they are upscandled themselves. For every phrase some of these people speak, there is a witch in the midst of it. Where do you think they got this from? From the stolen spiritual line set in Shavuot, in the nearing line. After it went into this repair, then the witches they got their way and they guide the world into the inferno and then the priests, where are the priests of Yahweh that they were set from the first where are the camps so then the gods have a reference point and then Israel is lost Israel is judged as the outside of the world is judged. The reading of the Torah is not going to save them. They are lost as regular people of the world. Because Yahweh Yeshua already came a long time ago. And they should be in worship in the Kadosh Kadushim's maintain the spiritual line outside. So then the Goys would come to the faith. Much more coming up.